guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe please visit us on our facebook page td designs and also on our instagram tg designs and don't forget to check out our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your dustman circle dress now this form of dress one thing i really love about this form of dress is that especially if you are dealing with ready to wear or you are making ready to wear dresses i recommend that you add these styles to your collection and this is because one style fits across all sizes right like you know you have small medium large so if you make a particular dress it falls under small so from bust 34 to bust 38 will be able to rock the same dress now in case you are confused on what size charts to use i have a tutorial where i explained distance calculation and also size charts so i'm going to go ahead and link the two videos in the description box please make sure you check them out after watching this tutorial and i also have a video on men size chart so just in case if you are into men wear you can also check out the tutorial in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required your shoulder measurements bust waist hip and your gown length now before then i also want to say that when you are taking your shoulder measurements note that this dustman dress is simply a combination of your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve measurements right so when you are taking your measurements you are basically taking from your center bone from the middle of your collar neck bone up to your desired length so if you want it to get up to this part you are basically taking your measurement from here this way and if you want it to get here you are taking your measurement this way now another thing again you need to consider or another way in which you can achieve your shoulder measurements is simply by adding your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve so if your sleeve length is 10 inches your shoulder measurement is 7 you go ahead and add them together you have 17 inches or you basically just place your tape measure this way from your collar bone and then you take your desired measurement so those are the two ways in, you can use to achieve your shoulder measurements now what are the kind of fabrics you can use for this style in order for you to achieve this style please make sure you use soft fabrics such as crepe chiffon lacra satin fabrics that are light so that they can flow well so for thick fabrics like cutting like african prints you might not really have that flow effect and the beauty of this dress is when it flows very well okay so but don't forget if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so i've explained how we came across our shoulder measurements which is 18 inches so i'll just go ahead and add one inch for my sewing allowance so plus one we are going to have 19 inches our gown length is 35 now another thing you also take note of in this dustman dress is that because what you have is off shoulder okay so for this form of dress you're also going to have your off shoulder but i'm going to say that note that what you have is a very little off shoulder and this is because when you take so much away from it it will not be able to sit on your shoulder so you should also consider that unlike your regular off shoulder dress where you can take off five inches six inches for this you are also going to consider that this dress sits on the shoulder so take Taking inches as much as five inches six inches it will not sit well on your shoulder especially if you are on a small size okay so if on a regular basis or on a normal basis for your off shoulder you take off five inches for this style please just take off three inches to four inches around three inches to four inches and if you're on a large size between four inches to four and a half maximum five inches is fine for those on a large size but if you're on a small size three inches to four inches is fine and this is because at the end of the day you want it to sit on your neck okay so for me i took off about three inches and it was fine i prefer when i have like a small neck compared to when it's big and then it's falling off from your shoulder <laughs> you will get that in the cutting part of the tutorial just in case if you didn't grab what i said okay so anyways our off shoulder our gown length is 35 inches we are going to go ahead and add two inches to it we have 37 inches 
our bus is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 inches our waist is 30 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches now another thing you should also take note of when you want to achieve this style is that for your basically the measurements you really need like you really need is your hip measurement and even your hip measurements you are not using the exact hip measurements and the reason for this is because what you have is a free dress so your dress should be free okay so since you are using your hip measurements and the reason why you are using your hip measurements is because your hip measurements is the largest part of your body okay but if your bust is the largest part of your body please make use of your bust measurements but for me my hip is the largest part of my body so i am making use of my hip measurements and don't forget that it is a free dress so you are also to add inches to your hip measurement the number of inches you add depends on how free you want your dress to be so if you want it to be free you can add five inches six inches but paraventure is a maternity gown you really want to have so much space so that your so it's to cover up your tummy you can go ahead and add eight inches or nine inches yes this is also a maternity dress okay <laughs> So let's go ahead now and just add inches to mine. I'm going to add 8 inches. I have 19 inches. The reason why I added 18 inches is I love, if I want to make a free dress, if I'm dealing with a free dress, I love it really free. If I'm dealing with a tight dress, I want it really tight. Okay, this is just like personal preference. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you should add 9 inches to yours, but basically just add like any number of inches you think you want to use or have any question in this course of tutorial please drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make and don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial <laughs> So guys, now I want to show you guys how to cut this off shoulder dot man dress. So this is our fabric. I'm going to use this pattern paper to illustrate it first on how I folded my fabric. But before then, fabrics to be used for these styles are actually light skin fabric like crepe, chiffon, lacra, satin. Fabrics that can actually flow well. Okay, those are the fabrics that are actually nice for this style so this is your fabric now you are basically going to fold your fabric into two you are folding your fabric this way into two after folding your fabric you have this closed part of your fabric so you basically just go ahead now and fold it this way basically just go ahead and fold this way so basically you are folding it in a triangular shape and don't forget that what we also want to achieve is a flay dress so you fold your fabric into two once you are done you fold it in a triangular shape to give you this now this is basically what we are going to have for our dress so i'm going ahead now to fold my main fabric this way okay and this is what I have after folding my fabric. So make sure you ensure that your fabric stays well, okay? So the next thing you are basically going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements. And of course, what you have here is off shoulder. So it simply means that you are basically going to take away some inches off. Note that the number of inches you take off totally depends on you. And also, because this dress is to sit on your shoulder, Please make sure you take like little measurements off so that you don't want your dress to be falling off from your shoulders. So you can take away three inches or four inches. Um, three inches or four inches is actually fine so that it can sit. It's better it sits on your shoulder properly than it's falling off from your shoulder. So now the first thing we are going to do now is to look out for where you are going to have your shoulder measurements. And don't forget that what we have is a dot man, meaning that our sleeve length and our shoulder measurement is actually together, okay? Now, and for us, we had about 14 to 15 inches. So at this point now, this is where I'm able Able to have my measurement so I'll go ahead now and mark it this means that we are starting our measurements from this line 
so we'll go ahead now and mark it you can see what we have yes you can see what we have so this is where we are starting our measurement from and this simply means that you are basically going to measure your length from this point so because i'm taking off about three inches for my off shoulder right i'm going to place the inches i'm taking off on this line and then i'll mark my gown length okay now i'll mark my gown length before then let's just be true with this upper part before we move to the lower parts of this fabric so now what are we going to do next we are going to go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements now my shoulder measurements is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches but like i would say one thing you should take note of this when you are cutting this dress is that one your fabric is folded in a triangular shape so this means that automatically you have essence so if you go ahead and you mark your seven inches because your fabric is folded in a triangular shape by the time you open up your fabric you are going to have more than seven inches because you folded your fabric in a triangular shape and don't forget that the main aim of this dress is for you to sit properly on your shoulder right so i'm going to say that deduct about one inch to two inches from your regular shoulder measurement deduct about one inch to two inches from your shoulder measurement so if it's too tight you can go ahead and reduce and increase it but my shoulder measurement now is seven i'm going to deduct two inches for it because basically i don't even have shoulder <laughs> like i don't have a broad shoulder and of course this fabric is folded in a triangular shape so i also need to consider that i'm not on a big size so if i deduct one inch it might still fall off from my shoulder so if you're on a big size you can deduct one inch but if you are very slim please deduct one and a half or two inches from me so i will go ahead now and mark five inches i took off about two inches from mine so i took off about two inches from mine so at this point now i'll go ahead and mark my one inch now the reason why we are marking this one inch is to serve as our shoulder slope okay so we are connecting this part now which is our neckline you connect it now this is what you have so it simply means that it simply means that from this part now to where you started your dress from which is about 16 inches this is a combination of your neck plus your sleeve don't forget that for our shoulder measurements we have combination of your neck plus your sleeve so at this point now where we are going to have our sleeve that was where i went ahead to mark one inch and i'll just connect it to give us our shoulder slope this is what we have this is what we have on the neckline because it's going to sit on the neck and basically what we did was our shoulder measurement minus one inch to two inches but i said for me i'm actually very slim and i have like a small neck so i took away two inches but one to one and a half inches is fine it depends on you so at this point now we've gone ahead now we have our neckline we have our sleeve so you go ahead now and mark your sleeve length you discover that i started placing my tape measure from this one inch of our shoulder slope okay this one inch of our shoulder slope at this point now you are going to mark your round sleeve measurement so my round sleeve is 12 divided by 2 i have 6 inches plus 1 inch for my sewing allowance i have 7 inches so i mark 7 inches I mark seven inches please if you have any question in the course of this tutorial feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so at this point now place your tape measure from your shoulder slope and then you mark your round sleeve so this is what you are going to have for this upper part so it's going to come straight this way it's going to come straight this way this is where your round sleeve is going to serve as now at this part of your round sleeve now mark two inches mark two inches and the reason why you're marking two inches is just to basically differentiate like where you have your arm and your basic dress so this is just going to come this way and then you have your basic dress so now let's go ahead now and mark our gown length 
want to mark our gown length don't forget that that is the upper part and this is our initial line you are placing your tape measure this way and also consider the fact that we took off about three inches out so you are going to place your three inches out this way you are going to place your three inches out and so you go ahead now and mark your gown length so i'll go ahead now and mark my gown length So you can see what you have place your three inches off this way so by the time you place your three inches off you go ahead now and mark your gown length okay so my gown length now is 30 my gown length is 37 inches i'll go ahead now and mark it so you just mark it like the way you have for your flay so you are going to have like a round shape also at the lower side. So I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. So you place your tape measure this way. Make sure that your three inches is out. And then you mark your... Make sure that your three inches is out. And then you mark your sleeve. You mark your gown length. You mark your gown length so once you are through now you connect all the lines together so you've marked your gown length so this upper part now this upper part that you went in with two inches just connect it all the way down just to give it like a little shape connect it all the way down so this is what you are going to have you have your gown coming this way and then you have your two inches and this is what it looks like you can see it's actually very easy to achieve please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so let me go ahead now and transfer this to the main fabric so that you guys can see it clearly but let me just come over again so that for the sake of those that are confused i hope that you guys will be able to understand it so you fold your fabric in a triangular shape just the way you have your flay at this point now you mark your shoulder measurements but the first thing first you have to do is check out where you are going to have your complete shoulder measurement which is your shoulder plus your sleeve and for me we said it's about 16 inches and i was able to get it at this point of my fabric so once i'm done now go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements our shoulder measurements is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 but because your dress is folded in a triangular shape and also you want it to sit properly on your shoulder i said deduct about 1 to 2 inches from your basic shoulder so for me i took off 2 inches and then i marked 5 inches so at this point now i came here and then i marked my 1 inch shoulder slope and i connect it together now from this shoulder slope go ahead and mark your round sleeve my round sleeve is 12 inches divided by 2 i have 6 plus 1 i have 7 inches at this line now i went in with about 2 inches so you can come in with about 1 inch to 2 inches and then i just connect the lines all the way down now another thing also you have to do now is to get your gown length which i said place your three inches or four inches it depends on how deep you want your off shoulder to be but you also have to consider that this is sitting on the shoulder so taking off like six inches or seven inches i think is going to be falling off from your shoulder i don't know except if you have like a very big shoulder or a wide shoulder to pack it up otherwise three inches to four inches is actually fine and if you're on a plus size then you can just go ahead with five inches so i went ahead now to to place my three inches at this point and then i took my gown length so once you are done this is what we have i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys i've gone ahead now to transfer it to this fabric and the reason is because of the chalk so my chalk i'm not sure like it's actually showing clearly that was why i had to use that black fabric to mark it okay so this is basically what we have so once you are done please go ahead and notch where your neckline ends so notch where your neckline ends and you can see your sleeve area and this is what it looks like so it's actually very easy to achieve so the next thing we are going to do but if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so what we are going to do now is actually very easy to achieve you are basically going to go ahead now and aim 
your neckline okay you are going to go ahead now and aim the neckline so the neckline is basically from one part that you've notched to the other part so i'll go ahead now and aim the neckline for both my front block and my back block and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now so guys now you've gone ahead now to aim your neckline you can see what your neckline looks like so definitely it's gonna sit on our shoulder so the next thing you are going to do now is to join don't forget that you notched where your neckline ends so you go ahead now and sit from where your neckline ends up to the end of your fabric so this is what you are going to have by the time you are done now looking at this side now you will discover that you can see this is where you left for your round sleeve and you have this part all the way down so what you are going to do now after joining your shoulder is you are basically going to leave this part because this is where your arm is going to go through right so you just come now after this part where you have it's actually very easy to achieve so this is where we left for your arm your round sleeve and you can see where it ends so you basically just stitch from this part now you can use about one inch and then you stitch it all the way down once you are done you just go ahead and aim the lower side of it so aiming of the lower side you can either weave it or you can turn it with a bias so for the other part too for the other side of your fabric that is you are going to have the same thing for the other part of your fabric so after aiming your neckline you can see you go ahead and stitch your shoulder all the way down once you are done you are automatically going to see where your arm ends right you can see where our round sleeve ends so you're also going to go ahead now and take about one inch and stitch this all the way down okay you can decide to fit in a pocket in your own if you want your dress to have a pocket you can go ahead and fit a pocket to yours but because my is the dress is already big on its own so i don't really need pockets but if you want yours to have pockets please go ahead and fix your pockets on it so now i'm going to start from this part now and i'm just going to stitch one inch all the way down so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like on the mannequin and if you have any question please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i'll go ahead now and stitch this part all the way down and i'll do the same for the other part and show you guys what it looks like so guys once you are done this is what you have you can see how it sits on our shoulder properly so you can go ahead and extend yours if you want it to be wider but this is what it looks like and you can also see that what we have is a short sleeve and for the lower part you can rock this with a belt okay you can just put a belt on it and this is what it looks like basically it's just like a very full flay at the lower side and it's so cute guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make and thank you so much for watching bye